What's up guys, Inka Forslan. So, today was chest day. Everybody loves, everybody loves chest day, so just getting the shake here after my workout. Some recovery milk. Anyways, so same as same as shoulders, like the previous previous video. I did five exercises. Um, all of them really focusing on the chest. So I started with, you know, the obvious one, bench press. I go with seven exercises. Sorry, the seven exercises. Seven exercises. And let's push up the count. Because we like to superset, you better be supersetting, otherwise you're not actually doing it. But anyway, so, started off with the bench, bench press. <coughs> so, I basically did my body weight in, in weight. So, just why are you laughing? Don't laugh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Bro, just, just sit down, okay? Just sit down oh, you, and let me speak. You just carry on, you just carry on. I'm with you. Let me speak. You just carry on. So I did my own body weight, okay? Um, but yeah. Remember this is, this is, this. Bro, stop making no like, jokes, please. Okay. So what is important with doing the supersets, okay? Is the fact that you need to take a weight that you can only do like between eight and nine. Like eight and nine, you need to really struggle to get the weight up, okay? So, obviously, I'm still working on my muscle groups and, you know, we're hoping for progress, yeah? But anyway, so I did my own body weight, which is about 150, 160 pounds about the conversion but anyways so yeah, then after the bench press like between your set so let's say you bench for a set then straight after you've benched you go into a set of push-ups okay because remember guys like I said in the previous video you really want to tire out that muscle okay you really want to stretch the muscle uh, stretch the muscle as far as you can you know possibly go so you superset it with push-ups, then you go, okay, then you can rest for like a minute because you like keep going heavy. So you don't want this to be a cardio session. Okay, then you can go straight into this the bench again. So then you bench again. So preferably you'd want to do five sets and again dropping 10% after each set, okay? But you need to remember the push-ups in between because that's really gonna like yo it ties out your your muscles okay and second exercise second exercise was the yo sorry it's cold now second exercise was the chest press uh, uh, the inclined chest press okay now this is super important for the upper chest there eh? because the upper chest really gives you like that like bigger look, like the bigger effect that you really like you want to have. So really, you can't leave this one out. Whether you do it with a bar or with dumbbells, doesn't really matter. But I would suggest dumbbells because you know you can. It's like um, unil unilateral unilateral work. So where you basically only use one arm to lift one piece of weight. So that's really going to focus on getting your upper chest bigger. Anyways, after the, or while you do the incline chest press, you do plate raises. Okay, you'll see now as well. You do plate raises. Now, with a plate raise, you really need to focus on keeping your back straight. Like, you can like almost like contract your back. Keeping your back straight and then not to swing. So you don't want to swing and you want to explode the weight up and you want to control it down. 
slow the weight up and control it down. So this is like a nice one because like if you really target like the like I don't know the curve the curve of your chest. Yeah, like the bottom part here. Like it's like it's really nice for for that. You're gonna feel your shoulders as well, but like try and focus on your chest. Then third exercise. What's the third exercise? Flight? Nice. Flight. <coughs> so third exercise, flies, chicken out. Same as the other ones, five sets. You start with a weight that you can only reach eight, like max nine reps with. Then you go drop 10%, drop 10%. And then this exercise is really important to focus on your form. Like you really want to contract the chest. So basically don't like, like you'll see like my last, like I think my last rep, you'll see like that my, you can see my biceps um, basically lifting some of the weight for me instead of like the chest and that's fine in like your first set because you're going for a heavier weight and you want to get to that, that last, last rep but from like set two you really want to focus on the form you don't want to assist your chest with something like your bicep or, or something like that okay then again super set in between the sets of the flies you do wide grip push-ups okay so like nice and wide like at least like this far yeah please like this far and you just you go do between 10 and 15 uh, reps and then you go straight into the flies again and then again into the wide grip push-ups and then like you super set it like that the whole time and by now your chest should be like your should be done by now like you should be feeling it, you should be tired, whatever. Then the last exercise, now, what do you call this? Um, no. Hammer strength. <laughs> we just know that hammer strength made, <laughs> makes the machine. So go look for something like what you're gonna see now. So basically with this, you really, you set your, you set your elbows like really far back and you, you focus on building your chest by pushing from the start. Like you don't really focus on the contraction at the end, but you, you build with the, the push at the start. So go you can go a little bit heavier than you think you can on this exercise. Because like you're sitting, so you have like you have like a, a, a good base to push from. So throw on some extra weight there. See if you can do it. Like don't feel bad if you can't, because you know we all need to experiment and stuff like that. So Go from there, form doesn't really matter because you know you're doing it with the machine, so the machine basically controls your form. If you can't, you know, if you don't have good form, you're not gonna get the weight right. So, anyways, that's the last one. And yeah, by now, if if you want to, you can superset with that exercise as well, but I don't really think you need to because like that last one is basically just like a, a you know to kind of like burn out the muscle so no superset really needed but again that was my routine you guys obviously you know do other exercises as well you add other things into your routines but i hope my routine helped you guys and showed you some things that you could do extra you know and you know reach those goals and objectives quicker and you know get overall growth quicker so, hope you guys liked the video. Please check out the shoulder one, yeah? Check out the introductory video here. Subscribe here. And like the video down there where you know you need to like it. <laughs> Please like it. Give it some love. Please, guys. I appreciate the support. I appreciate every single view, every single like. Remember, this is us trying to achieve something together it's not just me it's you guys as well and just to get my credibility up i'm not like this guy that just googled exercises out you know how to do them or whatever like i'm sitting in the chair of our bio like i told you guys i'm a cricket player so i have like really nice facilities avail available to me and stuff and i have people 
you know, taking care of me and looking after my body and stuff. So he shows me how to do the exercise, you know, the correct form and stuff. And then I basically just choose my exercises and I, and I go about my own thing. But he teaches me the form and stuff like that. So just to like, you know, show you guys that I'm not like this guy that's just, you know, he's trying to do something and he's put it, putting it on YouTube. But anyways, till the next video. What's the next video going to be about it? Legs? Should we do legs? Legs? Yeah. Nah, no. Nah. Arms. Arms. Sure. Definitely. Sure. Next video is going to be arms. Please come check it out. I'm out.